Hi guys, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now I know this video will divide your opinions, but watch the video to the end and then let me know what you think in the comments. Now don't worry, I will try to explain everything in this video, but if I do not, then please feel free to ask in the comments. So what is Freestar? Now Freestar is a multi-platform amateur radio network which consists of multiple technologies and modes. More specifics on the technical workings on that will be later in the video. But Freestyle's goal is quite plain and simple, and that's to get amateurs or ham radio operators talking to each other. Now, it was founded by Shane M0VUB and Oscar 2E1HWE around late 2020. Now, fast forward to 2025, and there's now even more amateurs that keep the network running with their expertise. Even though voice over IP is used in parts of this network, it's not a VoIP network that's available to everyone. You have to be a licensed ham radio operator to use this network. Now, when I say network, we're talking about repeaters and gateways all linked into the same network, i.e. the Freestar network. Now, this means if you transmit using your RF radio into one of these repeaters or gateways, your transmission will be rebroadcast in real time to any other repeater or gateway that is linked into the Freestyle network, and that's around the world. And of course, you can have two-way conversations with anyone at the other end. Now, you could have a net of many users, all located in different parts of the world. And to me, that truly brings ham radio operators together. Networked repeaters or gateways is nothing new, however. We just have to think about Echolink or IRLP, but they are just means in which to connect to a network. Now, Freestar, it's not a digital mode. It's not even an analog mode. It's not even a specific ham radio feature. Freestar is a name given to a specific cluster of repeaters and gateways that are linked together. Now, before we look at how we can connect to Freestar or how you can join in the conversations on Freestar, let me just give you my thoughts on why a network like this can be beneficial to so many people. So ham radio has many aspects to it. There's the learning, there's the technical side, whether it's transmitters, receivers, amplifiers or antennas. There's also digital modes like FTA or SSTV, or even real time pictures with digital amateur television. We also have use of satellites where we can bounce our signal back to Earth. Now, every amateur has their own reason for being part of this hobby, but the main aspect that we all have in common is pretty much talking to each other using our radios. So how does Freestar help with this? How would Freestar help you make new friends or radio friends? Now on the Freestar website, you can see a schedule of upcoming nets, which are hosted from a variety of people around the world and present different topics for each net. Now, if you see an upcoming net that you might be interested in, then take a listen, even key up the mic to ask a question or put your thoughts forward or your expertise forward into that conversation. Now, let's talk about how we can actually access the Freestyle network. Now, as mentioned before, you can access Freestyle using a repeater or a gateway that's been set up to access Freestyle. Now, this is not exclusively analog repeaters or gateways. And even though, in my opinion, analog repeaters and gateways sound better, but you can access Freestyle using DMR, Yaesu Fusion, D-Star, and even M17. So if you have a digital repeater or gateway within range that uses the MMDVM technology, then you'll most likely be able to connect to the Freestyle network via those. If you do not have any of these in range, then don't despair. There's actually still other ways in which you can connect. Now, if you like digital modes, then you could set up a digital hotspot at home. These are extremely cheap and all you need is a radio that has one of those supported digital modes. Of course, your hotspot does require an internet connection to access the Freestyle network. So bear that in mind. Another option, and in my opinion, the best option for both audio quality and ease of use would be an all-star node and just have that running at home. Now, these are analog FM based hotspots, which can be controlled to connect to other all star nodes. Now, Freestar have all star nodes connected to the network, 
meaning you just tell your all star node to connect to that one free star node. But in reality, it will actually be connected to hundreds of other nodes across multiple platforms around the world. Now, the best all star hotspot, in my opinion, is the Shari Pi, which is available from Kit for Hams. Now, I'll leave a link down below, and if you don't already know about that, I did make a video dedicated on that particular product. If you want to start building your own, it consists of a Raspberry Pi and just writing the software to an SD card and setting it up, then you can just buy something like a Shari Pi clone. It's just an audio interface with a radio board attached to it. Now you can get the likes of these from like Amazon or AliExpress extremely cheap. And again, I made a video on how you can set one of these up. Personally, when I talk on the radio, I do like to use a real radio but it doesn't bother me if one bit of that repeater or gateway or hotspot that I'm connected or talking through is actually connected via the internet. Now, with that being said, another way to access the Freestyle network could be using a network radio, whether it is running a Zello app, Echo Link, or the Peanut app. Of course, to be allowed into the Freestyle network, you will have to have a ham radio license with a call sign assigned to your station. Now, you can also use these applications on a mobile phone which in some cases can be a great fallback. Remember what we're trying to achieve here is the communication between like-minded members of this fantastic hobby that we find ourselves in. Now the Freestyle website does hold some rather interesting information and one of the pages is the dashboard. You can see this from the page of all the connected nodes, at least for Allstar. Now there are some other pages which contain information about the digital links, but as mentioned before, I really would recommend Analog. It sounds so much better. Now in the UK, there's lots of repeaters and gateways linked to Freestar or have the facility to link to Freestar, not only on two meters, but also 70 centimeters, six meters, four meters, and even 10 meters. So it's quite possible you are already in range of a gateway or repeater that can access the Freestar network. Now, personally, I listen in the evenings and it can get quite active around 11 p.m. for what is known as the dogging net. Yep, you heard correctly, the dogging net. Now you have to tune in to find out what that's all about, but it isn't actually what you think. Now every year, the Freestar team put on an event called GOTA, and that's Gateways on the Air. Now GOTA is just for fun, but it promotes to increase the use of RF voice communications via Simplex Gateways. Now lots of folks will park up high and try and access far away Simplex Gateways just to say they've activated through it. Again, this is just for fun, and this year's GOTA unfortunately has just ended. They even ran a competition in conjunction with my friends over at Moonmaker, where you can win ham radio gear, all for free. You just needed to make a contact through a gateway. So there we go. If you want to talk to like-minded, friendly people on the radio, then look at how you can connect to the Freestyle Network. The whole team are pretty amazing. Now, I know Freestyle is not the only network available, there are others around the world, but for me, I would definitely recommend giving it a go due to the friendliness and welcoming approach that radiates from the Freestyle Network users. The admin team are always on the ball if there's issues or QRM affecting one of the gateways. Now, before you start leaving negative comments, just remember there is many ham radio operators that do not have the opportunity to install antennas for whatever reason or maybe they can't own radios due to lack of funds or maybe just where they live. So the only way to keep in contact with other ham radio operators and enjoy the hobby is through the internet. At the end of the day, it's 2025, and I'm not saying that we should all jump on the internet and use VoIP to VoIP. I'm strictly against that. But if the internet is used within certain aspects of the hobby, then I see absolutely no reason why not to use it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for listening to me. And I hope to hear you on the Freestyle Network. Mind you, I should really make myself more known on there too, because I do 99.9% .9 listening and 0.1% transmitting. But of course, you can guess why. And that's because I spend most of my time making these videos. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, 2 e 0 um, G7HMV. 2 e 0 Two E zero, JSV. Uh, returning. Why break the habit of a lifetime, James?